Hi people, it's Archivist here, and today we're going to be talking about the idea of the fourth dimension, which I'm going to attempt to illustrate for the use of video games. I first heard about this concept from the late Carl Sagan, who presented it very well through the use of Flatland, but simply because it's such an interesting idea to talk about, I want to do it here as well, but using video games for a slightly different spin. So let's begin by considering the Mushroom Kingdom from the original Super Mario Brothers. So what we have here is a two-dimensional world. There's a y-axis going up and that's how Mario can jump up, and there's an x-axis going along and that's where he moves along. Now, he can only see and perceive of these two dimensions, that's all he knows of. The z-axis, which is the third dimension, he just can't understand, he can't see it, it's not there to him, it doesn't exist and yet it does exist, he just doesn't get it, he doesn't understand it. You could tell him it's there, he could understand the theory, but he wouldn't actually be able to see it because it's not within his frame of reference. And so if I, along the z-axis, put an object into his world, to him, it would just appear. After all, he can just see a series of lines, that's all he can see from his 2D perspective. But if I was to place something in, he wouldn't see it coming because he can't see the z-axis, that just isn't there to him. He would just see a line appear right in front of him. And the point to take away from this is that there is something coming into his world which is out of his understanding, out of his perspective. He can't understand how it got there, it just appeared to him. To us, it's easy to understand how the object got there, but to Mario, it just makes absolutely no sense. So now let's jump to a more modern game like The Witcher 3. Now Geralt can look all over the place, he can look up along the y-axis, he can look down the x-axis and he can look left and right, unlike Mario, along the z-axis. And this is entirely representative of our world, because we live in a 3D world. Now for a moment, consider there is a fourth dimension and all you can really do is consider that. You can't understand it, no one can understand, but just try and imagine that there is a fourth dimension in a very similar way to how Mario couldn't literally understand three dimensions but you could at least try and explain the concept to him. Now if an object was traveling along this fourth axis in this fourth dimension and then placed into Geralt's world it would just appear in front of him. That's all he'd see. He wouldn't understand how it got there because it's traveled along the fourth dimension which we don't get which he doesn't get. Now, just because we don't see how it got there doesn't mean that this fourth dimension doesn't exist because by its very nature we don't get it, we don't understand it. Yet again, it's like how Mario couldn't possibly understand how the object got to him because he can't perceive of the third dimension much like how we can't understand the fourth dimension if it exists. No use of our measurements that we understand that scientists use to measure things can be used to understand this fourth dimension because it really is literally thinking outside the box because we just don't get it. If you want to try and understand this in a real world situation, think of like wormholes in outer space. Now the idea of a wormhole is that you go into the wormhole and then you appear somewhere else in space, you have no idea where. And when you're traveling through it, you're going through this imperceivable traveling situation. And what some people think is that that's going through the fourth dimension and appearing somewhere else. So. By unlocking understanding of the fourth dimension, you could actually understand the idea of teleportation. I mean, it's not literally teleportation, you're not disappearing and reappearing. You're traveling through this shortcut, this fourth dimension, to get to somewhere else within the third dimensional plane. It's not like we haven't been in this situation as humanity before where things have existed that we just couldn't perceive of. I mean, just take the simple idea of ultraviolet and infrared. We as humans can't see it with our own eyes, they exist outside of our spectral perspective. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. With the right equipment, you can see ultraviolet and infrared. Now, who's to say that within a few years, a few hundred years, thousands of years of scientific understanding, we couldn't somehow unlock the ability to perceive of this fourth dimension? What I want you to take away from this video is not the idea that the fourth dimension definitely exists because it could do, but to understand the idea that there are certain things that may be outside of our current understanding and that, well, maybe we'll never understand all the answers, maybe we'll never be able to answer the big questions, but we have to always consider that we don't know everything because there may be things that are outside of what we can actually even perceive as human beings. As always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.